Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Chelsea. You know that. I know that. And we all know that I'm just a lady with a bulldog and a camera and too many opinions. Let's get into this video. So a few months ago, we did a video, or I believe two videos, about Veronica Bayron or the Veronica Bay Show on Instagram. She was someone who was higher up in the Miami area in the multiple marketing company, Monate. And she made a, a big old stink stink about leaving the company exposed a lot of stuff. She then was moving over to iGenius and wasn't going to be on the WFAB team, but was going to be kind of with them, like parallel adjacent, WFAB adjacent, like under the same like upline, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Okay. But then she never actually started it. Like she, she had multiple different like calls about it and multiple different, you know, Zoom calls and Instagram posts and stuff, but then didn't actually like follow through with it. And then got into EXP Realty, which is another multiple marketing company. And then, <laughs> and then she like didn't start that one either. And then she has now come out and said that she's joining doTERRA. It's so confusing. So I feel like her team under her or people in money that were under her period would have maybe followed her over to iGenius. But then the whole like starting a team and then not actually starting it and then moving over to EXP Realty, but then like not actually starting that and then going over to doTERRA. I don't see anyone following her. It's just mind blowing to me. So we're going to watch her like launch video, I guess. And it's just so strange because it's like doTERRA essential oils like what kind of does make sense though because from what i've seen she's pretty QAnon anti-vax type of person so it wouldn't surprise me if she was like oh oils cure autism or they cure cancer i don't know let's go ahead and watch this um when you put tea time everyone wants so i guess her husband is like joining her team too or is being a part of this now the caption here says New adventure begins. So excited to call doTERRA home. I'm so grateful for whatever, whatever. And I don't know who that is for showing me the beauty of this company. Also, this person. We have not met yet, but your passion to pursue what's pure has given this next chapter of my life so much purpose. The Goddards, James, Eric, Doug, Gina, who are all these people? Everyone that played a part in helping me arrive to this decision. It sounds like she got paid. It sounds like she got that money, honey, to move over. So that's very interesting. Hello, you spicy, beautiful people. Sorry for interrupting this video before we get too far into it, but we need to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Babbel. Y'all know I've been using Babbel for quite some time now. They've been a sponsor of the channel for a while. And Babbel is, in my opinion, of course, the best language learning app out there. Babbel is scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in three weeks. Their lessons are curated and taught by real language teachers. They offer a 20-day money-back guarantee. They offer podcasts, articles, games, even live classes as well, which you will get two free live classes if you scan the QR code or sign up with the link in my description box. Babbel teaches you real world conversations and that really is the easiest way to learn a new language. Immersing yourself in the history, the culture, the language itself has been proven to be the best way to learn a new language. And y'all know I did just have the sweetest little baby about a month ago by the time this video is coming out. By the time I'm filming this, he's only three weeks old, but he's still the best. And I need to be able to speak Spanish to him so that he can fit in with and keep up with his cousins. I'm not trying to have them speak another language behind his back. I need him to be on top of it. So not only did I get a bunch of, you know, Spanish baby books so that I can teach him that way, but then also I need to be able to have conversations in Spanish, which I do understand a good bit, but I need to be able to understand a lot more, be conversational, and really just brush up on those skills so that I can continue to teach teach him. And I like to do so with Babbel. I've told you all before, but my favorite part of Babbel is the games because it does just make it so easy and interesting and really captivates my very short attention span. <laughs> and it, in my opinion, is a better way to learn. So I like the games, but then I also like learning more about Spanish speaking countries or whatever language you're learning about through the articles, the blog posts, and all the other information that is available to you with Babbel. So make sure you scan that QR code right over here or sign up 
with the link in my description box to get 60% off your Babbel subscription. And thank you again, Babbel, one of the top language learning apps in the world for sponsoring this video. And thank you again to you guys for continuously supporting these sponsors on my channel. My heart is filled with gratitude. Lastly, I think you got, are you accepting an Oscar? What are you doing? This is why I like can't do just lives. Y'all would be shocked at what raw footage from YouTubers looks like. Yikes. We sound so dumb. Right, Ethan? <laughs> He's probably nodding his head right now and being like, yeah, this is a dumb <laughs> He's like, you know how many snack breaks and bathroom breaks and Tony sneezes I gotta take out and ums and wiggum farts? Oh Lord, okay. Lastly, thank you God for always listening to my prayers and always showing me that my dreams are not unrealistic. The heart of Deuterra is an answered prayer and I'm so excited to represent this company to the best of my abilities and to everyone who has supported me and continues to support me, thank you. The sign behind them says, I am a powerhouse. Are you? I'm so grateful for all of you, for all of you that, I think I know the choice you made, for all of you that support me, that show love on me year after year, um, and just like are there th for me through my growth and through my seasons and you know he has been a pivotal role in all the growth do you have anything you want to add no it's show time it's your time okay so he's just here for moral support <laughs> so like if you see him on his phone it's because he got bored of me yeah it's two other people yeah, there's a kid screaming. I think it's from the person who's recording it. I don't think it's from Veronica Bay. Okay, so he's just here for moral support. <laughs> so like, if you see him on his phone, it's because he got bored of me. Yeah, it's two other people. So you're nervous? Crazy. Are you nervous? Okay, let's start saying the go. story. It's not about me, babe. Months ago, months ago, I started feeling if he's there for moral support, why is he got to be on camera? Why isn't he just off camera, like helping you or answering questions or I don't know. That seems weird. That I had buried something that was still alive. Okay, that came to me today. I thought that I had buried something that was still alive and it was one of my family members. I buried them alive. What's the straightest thing you've ever done? I killed a guy once. I just want to say... The reason why I departed from where I initially built was because there was a difference in values, in value systems. So I had been put in a couple or a few actually situations where I was like, I don't agree with this. And I don't believe in selling your soul for money. Like I'm the kind of person, I've been this way since I was little. Like for me, being a righteous human is the most important and staying true to me. And my story doesn't have to be everyone else's story. And just because I made that decision for myself doesn't mean that everyone else has to do it, which is why I don't agree with bashing. Like very hurtful things happened, but it's, we're a year later and everything is- She's so beautiful. Like, I don't know if they're ever gonna have kids, but they're gonna make some beautiful children if they ever do. I'll tell you that much. Isn't it interesting that she says she doesn't wanna sell her soul for money, but basically in an MLM, that's what you do. And everything is good and um, life as well. And for someone asking on the chat, yes, I'm talking about the first company I ever worked with, Monate. Reason for my departure was that simply. And it's funny because I was praying before this live and I was like, God, can you give me words for me to be able to express myself but not say too much? And then I just wrote in my daily entry, which I hadn't done. And the quote for today was, the deepest craving of human nature is the need to feel appreciated. Okay, someone said, hi, Veronica. I asked you a question during the live and I'm sure you were getting overwhelmed with the chat or couldn't get to it or didn't see it. My question was, you were very adamant in a previous video about the reality of being a part of MLM meant you were not actually a business owner and that bothered you. Have you changed your mind about this idea? She said, hi, yeah, there was so much going on. I missed a lot of questions. I'll probably do a Q&A, but that is a hard fact. But I recognized I couldn't let one disappointment stop me from pursuing something I feel called to do. So what I did was choose a company intentionally 
who I feel I wouldn't feel the need to part ways from in the future. Also, I'm still running my real estate business on the side. Okay, so she's still in EXP Realty, so she's still in another MLM. She didn't answer that person's question. She didn't really, yeah, she didn't really answer that question or address it or anything. And I think that was one of the biggest things is that at a big moment, I felt like I wasn't. And I decided to leave. Whether that was the right or wrong decision, everyone is entitled to their opinion. In my life, I feel like it was the right one. So much has happened in my life since then. I've grown so much and I stay, um, hey Ash, Mwah, send you a big hug. I hope you're doing well. So anyways, turn the page, join the other company, iGenius. And that was a very rash decision. And I realized that now in retrospect, a hard fact is that I ran out of fear. So I recognized I'm out of integrity. I'm in a company that requires me to recruit people in order to grow. And I don't believe in where I'm at right now and I can't recruit. And I decided I have to leave. And I have like, I can be very impulsive, right, honey? <laughs> um, so I ran to like the first thing that I found and it was a great company. I love the people there. It's really interesting that she's saying she ran to the first company that she found, but she had in her video where she went over like why she was moving to iGenius, she had talked about how she had already like been vetting other companies and also how people from like Q Sciences and then people from other MLMs were like trying to get her over there. So I don't think it was necessarily like a super rash decision. I mean, it might have been. I honestly don't know, but it just, I don't know. It seems like she's talking about all this and being like, well, this was a rash decision and I didn't like this company. I didn't like this one. I didn't like this one to, of course, try to hype up this one and really make it seem like this is the right decision. No, those things weren't the right decision, but this is. It's just so interesting how the story keeps changing and changing and changing to fit the current narrative. But I started that business with a business partner who was a trader, okay? And shortly into the business, he recognized he didn't want to do network marketing. And at that moment, I was like, oh my God, okay. But like my whole business plan was with him. And then I recognized I didn't want to do trading. I didn't want to build a whole business on trading. I found myself constantly having to play catch up and trying to be an expert when I wasn't. And I found also personally that I didn't want to sell a service. I very much so enjoyed selling products better. So once again, to remain in my integrity and in my authenticity, because I could have just stayed building. But that's just not the way I am. I like to be honest. I like to be truthful to, you know, what I'm feeling. So what happened after that? You know, I ran again and I was like, I need to get out of here. So I got out of there and guys, when I decided to pursue real estate in January, I mean, no foul there, right? Because I took my test, passed everything in a month. I did it because I could make a lot of money. And that's the truth, right? I'm like, okay, I'm out of network marketing. I'm not gonna go back to news reporting, which was my career. What am I gonna do? Okay, let me become a realtor. Veronica didn't think about the fact that we're going through like a recession and it's a horrible market that just never crossed my mind because I don't look at obstacles. I just look at solutions. So real estate was my solution. And then the second hard fact that I faced is that for a woman like me, babe, are you for? No, I'm listening. Are you sure? Because it feels bad I made you be here. This is really awkward. I can't stand, and not saying that she's doing this, but like I can't stand when people like force their spouses to be a part of something because it just comes off like even more awkward. That's why y'all don't see Tony on camera mostly ever because he doesn't want to be and I don't care. <laughs> I will, it's, it's, it, it's never a good result when someone doesn't want to be on camera and you put them on camera. It's not good content. Like it's stupid. Having a real estate license at any point, that's great. Like that's amazing. That's something you should get. And then also like your, your insurance license, like go for it, get it. Like things like that, like those, that's amazing. But then saying like, 
just oh well it was just an it's just an obstacle this is just an obstacle no girl you planned poorly and didn't make a great decision didn't make a good business decision and didn't look at like the landscape of like what you're actually doing okay so i need to get fast to to the part where he's involved but anyways i recognize that there's no better industry than network marketing like being in real estate for just six months i recognized the weekends like open houses driving people around chaotic life like you're constantly go 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 which is cool but not for me because i've already experienced network marketing you know i've already experienced the beauty of building an at-home business and now i'm a wife and now i'm a woman that aspires to be a mother and very quickly one plus one equals two how am i going to be a mom and be at open houses and drive clients around and do all these things and then it hit me like i don't think this is going to be my full-time thing I love real estate. I believe in real estate. I There are a lot of people who are full-time in real estate and are also like the primary caregiver. Also, you have a spouse who runs his own business and would also be able to have that time too. It's not like, like yeah, things pop up, but you're going to have a schedule. And especially during the weekends, like you'll be able to schedule things out. And if you have to have your kid with you, you have to have your kid with you. Like that's what happens. I'll continue to invest in real estate and I will continue to do real estate. But as a part-time thing, it will not be my bread and butter because I know better. And when I started having those realizations, I was like, dude, network marketing is my thing. And network marketing allows me to impact a lot of people. But also through this journey, I have really worked on my faith and my connection to God and spirituality. And there were so many days that I was lost, guys. I tell you here like, oh, you know, I was thinking about go going back to network marketing, but I didn't even know if it was going to be that. I was so confused, like such a lost little girl. And all I kept saying was all I want to do, like my ultimate happiness would be to glorify God. Like whatever I end up doing, Lord, like I just want to raise your name. I want to be around people where I feel comfortable doing that. I just want to stand in such a big purpose that is so much bigger than me. I don't ever want to make a decision again because of the money. I just want to be somewhere. Yeah, that's cool and all, but that has nothing, literally, unless you're going to become a pastor, like if, if you love God so much and you want to, you know, do your job for God, why don't you go work at a church or like a nonprofit or something? Why do you have to work your religion into your job? Where I feel safe, safe with the people around me, safe with the future I'm building with whatever company or venture it is. And, um... You know, after a lot of prayer, I recognized, okay, I definitely want to get into network marketing. Let me see. I don't know what's going on in the comments, baby. Do you want to, do you want to watch the comments? And if there's anything that we need to answer, you remember it. Of course. It. Yeah. Awesome. But don't watch it through there. You could just, oh, you can't read it. It's so funny, you guys are guessing, and just wait till I till I say. So anyways, I went on a yacht with a friend who is in Q Sciences, and I told her, bring me your products, I wanna try them. Um, and she did, and I tried them. And my husband, when he had looked into their products, he's like, I don't like them, they're blends, like they don't put their nutritional facts, whatever. I tried them, and they were amazing. And he liked them too. So I spoke to my friend, guys, and wait, for the climax because right now all of you guys are guessing things and you don't even know what you're guessing everyone thinks that they know <laughs> so anyways um i had a heart to heart with my friend and i was like i haven't felt called to anything but i just am called to network marketing so you know tell me more about it and one thing led to another and I spoke with some people in corporate and they were like, oh, let's fly you out and let's meet. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's do that, figure it all out. And then that's when God decided to intervene. And disclaimer, we actually like Q Sciences. We tried the products. I have a lot of friends in that company and I love my friends in that company, but I'm not going there. <laughs> Um, 
I went there, I checked them out, but before I even made it to Utah to check them out, I was at a real estate conference. And this is when I had decided I am getting back to network marketing and I am never making a decision based off of money and I need to be a place <laughs> and I need to be in a place where I feel peace and where I feel longevity and where I feel at home. And <laughs> now I'm invested. So I went to a real estate conference and in that real estate conference I met a lawyer. And when I met this plot twist AF. So it's really interesting that she's like, I'm never gonna make a decision based on money again, but that's what, I mean, that's what network marketing is. Like, what if you aren't making money for six months straight? So are you just never gonna leave the MLM? Like you have to be able to, like, this is a business. This makes no sense. <laughs> like, it's just so culty. So if it's not about money, which it should be because it's a job, then what is it about? Yeah, like y'all, I will tell you that when you pray to God with like convictions, he delivers to the freaking T in the weirdest ways. So yeah, all of you guys are wrong about Q. <laughs> so I'm at this real estate convention and I had been to, so I'm part of this mastermind, right? And I paid a lot of money to be a part of this mastermind and I haven't been making too much money. So it was a decision that made no sense. Like I didn't even want to tell my husband, I'll just say here, I paid 15 K to be a part of this mastermind. And it had three events that led up to the event where I spoke to this guy, but it's a lawyer. I had met him at the other two events of the mastermind. Um, and one day we were just talking and I told him, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to Utah in a couple of days. I'm checking out network marketing. How are you gonna say that you aren't gonna make a decision based on money ever again? And then say that you don't have any money coming in right now and that you spent $15,000 on this mastermind. Those things are, I don't know why anyone acts like they are so great. Like, no, I'm all for networking. I'm all for that, but it's all this woo-woo. You know how I hate the woo-woo. It's all this woo-woo, motivational, nonsensical, Pinterest personified type stuff. And it's so, it's such a waste of money and it's just people making money off of you. That's all it is. Company and he literally told me, oh my God, my wife and I were top earners with a network marketing company that's in Utah. <laughs> and <laughs> like, what? I was like, okay. And at this point, I'm like, sir, don't confuse me. Don't tell me about your network marketing company. I'm finally gonna check one out and I've been confused for months, don't confuse me. So he tells me it's doTERRA. And when he tells me doTERRA, all I could think about is my best friend's mom, Gina. Gina is the woman that brought me to God when I was about 12 years old. They live in Calabasas, California, and every time I go to Gina's house, she's got a million oils, always trying to fix my life with her oils, and I always ignored Gina. <laughs> like, I was like, okay, Gina's just obsessed. I don't know what this oil stuff is, but I ignored it. And when I went, so this guy was like, yeah, Veronica, I mean, I've from what I know of you so far, I think you would love it. If you're already gonna be in Utah, why don't you just come? And I was dismissing him, like if he's watching this, sorry, Victor. I was dismissing him and um, <laughs> and the next day, cause it was a two day workshop, he shows up with a bag full of products, like from like a bunch of products. And I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, so I grab the bag, I come home and I drop it on my table. Never opened it, didn't care to try them. I. Sorry, that's my dog. Point is, my curious husband opened the bag. And as you guys know, my curious husband is very big into health. He's very big into science. And he tried one of the essential oils and he was like, babe, this stuff is amazing. He's like, are you joining this company? Because one of the biggest struggles I've had with choosing a company is that I want him to back, him, back me up because like we're husband and wife and if he could help me promote whatever I do, it'll be so much 
there will be so much more synergy. So when he told me- Synergy. If I have an inappropriate comment to make, her arms, I've already said how beautiful she is, but her arms and like this little armpit piece right here, I want to live in there. I just want to snuggle in there and just live in there. That's where I want to, I want to buy a timeshare in there. So- <laughs> At this point, as, as I'm filming this video, it is July 1st. We are having a baby this month. Did you know that? 38 weeks pregnant. We could either have the baby in three hours or three weeks. It's getting weird and I'm gorgeous and beautiful. And so is my body and so is yours if you're over 18. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I feel like you needed to hear it. Our bodies change, our bodies are weird and it's okay. They're doing their job. And you know what? If they don't do their job, you're still beautiful, okay? Me, that he loved the products. He started drinking the Digest Sun, which helps with digestion. And he said that his digestion in just like two days had drastically changed. When he told me that, I was like, does that mean he pooped his pants? Oh my God, hold up. Like now I need to check this thing out. And Victor had told me, if you're already gonna be in Utah, I'll fly out and we'll check out doTERRA. So God works his magic once more. And that same weekend that I was scheduled to go to see the other company that same weekend, one of doTERRA's top leaders who lives in Utah was having an event at her house. And it was a two day event. I was gonna be in Austin for one of the days, so I was only gonna make it to the second event. The first day was the main day where they talk about the company. The second day was about business building, which I don't really need. So I was like, ah, I wonder what's gonna happen at this event, we'll see. Morning of, we're leaving Austin at like 4 a.m. and we get to the airport with like 50 minutes to spare, almost an hour, I thought we were good. The lines were insane. And I'm looking at Marcus and I'm like, what the hell do we do? And one thing led to another, they didn't let us check in our bags and we had to divide and conquer. So I ran to the plane and he stayed with our bags in Austin. And when I get to Utah, Victor picks me up and we drive to this event. I have zero expectations. I'm thinking this whole time, I'm going with you know this other company because my <laughs> friends are there, they're growing there, they're making money. It's a new company, it's a momentum, opportunity, whatever. But Victor takes me to this- Opportunity, synergy, it, blah, blah, blah. Girl, buzzword, 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 buzzword. Like it's a new company. I mean, not, t not technically. Also doTERRA isn't a new company either. Mega mansion <laughs> in Utah, this beautiful home. And I'm just like, oh my God, who's gonna be inside this home? And I met the most humble people. Like the kind of people that you just like, you're around them and you feel their heart. Because they're Mormon and they got gotcha. you. Listen, typically you'll never meet a mean Mormon because that's how they get you. They gotta be nice. They gotta be attractive. They're usually rich. They're usually 12 years old with 16 kids. Don't look in their pantry because there's a lot of crazy in there and then you might get spooked. Don't ask to see their special underwear either. You'll get kicked out of their house. But yeah, girl, they're Mormons. Have you never met a Mormon? I have developed this like very annoying sense where I can feel energies so easily and so can my husband. Um, and I think that it's like a good thing, but also uh, sometimes annoying thing. Cause I'm like, I wanted to like- I Have like a fifth sense of where we know when it's already raining, but then also like we're really good. Like how cringe are you? Clearly you don't because you're stuck in network marketing and you don't know when these people are, when you've literally walked into a cult compound. So clearly you, you don't have that sense. Meanwhile, me and Tony just hate everybody that we meet. We don't, we are very good judges of character though. And we, we do get the ick very quickly and we will let you know. So if you're not sure if you're like, you're dating someone and you've only been on like three dates with them and like you like them, but you're not really sure, bring them around me and Tony. After one time, we will tell you if we hate them. The answer is probably us. <laughs> We won't tell you that we don't like them. We've saved a lot of friends. Our One of our best friends, Pat, calls it the Chelsea and Tony test. This person, and now I don't like them. Oh my God, this is so hard. But in that place, I just felt pure love, pure peace. And this was the people hosting this event. Are and then we all drank each other's blood and branded each other. And I felt pure peace. With this company for 14 years and they're still hosting events at their house. Nowadays, 
it's a mega mansion. <laughs> but it's still events in their house and their love for the products and the mission and you know now I want to go into the why because when I looked into into doTERRA more I came across this beautiful video called Genesis and babe real quick do you want to say anything about the products because I know you have to go soon <laughs> or about the experience uh, I don't know I think you should keep going honestly okay. I think you're on a roll <laughs> okay, so after we went to that, the, we spent the whole day at this woman's house and it was beautiful and my eyes were tearing up because there were a ton of like older, wiser people and I've had this deep yearning in my heart to put myself around people that I could learn from. It sounded like she was going to say older white people because you know that's what it was. It's Utah. You know that's what it was. You know, I feel like God, since I was a little girl, gave me all this wisdom and all this maturity. And I feel like I'm in a point in my life that I just want to learn from people. And I want to be inspired by the way people move. And, you know, I felt that in that room and it was beautiful. So amazing experience, right? Then this man who I had left in Austin, he had gotten on a flight. It's midday. It's like 3 p.m. This other event's done. We... Marcus meets us at the actual doTERRA campus now. So guys, this is a $2.5 billion company. They've got like a bunch of buildings and it's a Saturday. And I'm telling Victor like, oh my God, you like made, you booked for us to come see this. Like, are you sure we don't have to? Like, I know it's Saturday. We get to this ginormous campus and two top like the main guy like the first guy pretty much to ever start with doTERRA like the number one person that's ever been signed up is there waiting for us and there's also people from corporate they're waiting for us like people that work at the warehouse waiting for us just to meet us too like we are nobodies and victor told me veronica I didn't do this so to convince you to join. I just wanted to show you the heart of doTERRA. Yeah, you did. You did it to recruit her because you see that she's really pretty. You see that she's charismatic and that she can get people into this. Also, the fact that she's gor gorgeous. I would live inside of her armpit. The fact that she's gorgeous, has a big social media following, but also can appeal to the like QAnon-ish type of people who want to like butt chug essential oils to try to, you know, cure herpes or something. She can appeal to those, like she really can get like an untapped market of like younger people who are like just getting into this like woo woo stuff. And these people are happy that you're here. And I was like, oh my God, We're, we'll see. Like, cause I could feel energy, remember? So I was like, when I actually am around these people, we'll see if I'm a big burden to their life. What ended up happening was that- If you're a big burden to their life, you, does, does she mean that she's just picking up on social cues? Like, I really feel like that's what she means. But clearly you're not just picking up on social cues because you didn't pick up on the fact that, yeah, they roll out the red carpet for people that they do think will have a good ROI. The joy and love that I felt that these people feel for this company had me like crying. And at one point there was a guy who worked at the warehouse who, once again, I remind you, showed up on a Saturday to show this random girl, one person and her husband, the facilities while they were closed down. This warehouse manager is talking and I'm just looking at the intensity and the love that he has for what he's doing. And I just knew, I just knew that I had found a company that was rare. I knew I had found a place that shares my morals and my values and my ethics and my love for people and my love for God and my love for healing. And doTERRA started as an essential oils company and nowadays they have vitamins, they've got skincare, they've even got hair care, they have all these amazing products that are all made with the purest essential oils because they believe that nature can heal us. And, okay, you have five minutes, it's your time. Go, go, go. Say something. <laughs> Come on. He loves the company so much that I'm just like, I joined I mean, a big part because of I him. Think, I think the most important thing is when you're, when you're promoting a product, like you need to love the product. And like, 
I mean, I personally think that you like you just gotta go with the science. Like, what is the what is like where can you actually really put your name behind it? Because like the, the reason why I personally have never promoted any supplements was because I like I'm so aware of my brand and my name and my clients, my athletes, they trust me uh, with their eyes closed and. I would never put my my name or like my brand behind something that isn't 100% right with myself and and yeah I like I just really think that I don't know like it was a lot of like crazy coincidences and I think it was right place right time and a few of the products that I personally have tried out like I've not only like felt it on myself like I'm the one that like looks up PubMed, I look up studies, I read them, I read the research. And it was crazy because like a lot of their products, like they have legit research. And like, I was the one in the past, I like, honestly, like I, I laughed at people. You look up research, you look up studies. Listen, Mr. Beautiful Tight Shirt, look at my pecs, man. Why don't you go to the FTC website then and look up studies and research on multi-level marketing companies and network marketing companies. Like you could do that. That's good research to do. Why don't you do that? That we're doing stuff with essential oils. Cause I was just like, yeah, that's like bro science. That's like, you know, that's like, it's like the stuff that I don't know, like some mother would do, you know, like with their friends. Oh my God, this is so good. This is helping. And like, you know, like it's just not something that I really like thought was true, but then actually like that sounds pretty misogynistic something that like a bunch of, like a like a group of dumb women who have kids would do like i feel like she kind of just didn't like based on like what her face just looked like that she didn't like that he just said that your wife's in network marketing and yeah a lot of people do make fun of it but you're saying that you support it because of the products but you know it's not because of the products like how can you sit there with your beautiful big arms and just say <laughs> Leave me and my pregnancy hormones out of this, okay? <laughs> I just, do, how, 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 how? How can you contradict yourself so much? Like this is so culty, so hypocritical, so contradictory, it's wild. Before Veronica got started, I personally have, um, I did a little bit of research because one of my clients, she had some some issues with, with digestion and I came across things like peppermint and I was like, this is interesting, so let me look that up. And even like a few months before that, um, I was doing research on uh, improving testosterone in men, men, and I found this. Okay, so that was it. They keep going on and on about stuff, but it's, it's important to understand that there are some studies and resources out there that just like don't make sense. For instance, is it true that having sex can induce labor but we all just think it works because people say that and then also like hot sauce and like walking a lot and he kept he kept saying he's like just keep in mind causation or correlation is not causation whatever so it, it's it's things like that like i always thought that that was right or <laughs> there's a lot of women who think that when you have a c-section they cut you open and then take out your like insides and put them on a tray and then take the baby out. And I was talking to my friend about it and she's like, yeah, that doesn't happen. She's like, think about it. Your organs are pushed up. They don't, they don't touch your insides. They go right into like the, right into the uterus. And I was like, oh my God, what? Why did I think that? So it's, it's all these like preconceived, like weird notions that we have and just things that we've like read once or someone said to us once and even like studies and this study shows that blah 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 especially when it comes to mlms and mlm products and just doing research in general and it's really important to understand like what you're actually looking at and consider the source and all the variables and all the factors that are in play there faith manipulation haha <laughs> that's the word i was thinking of before religious manipulation whatever i cannot wait to see how much faith manipulation we're gonna get from her it's gonna be so glorious oh and with the election coming up too oh it's gonna be great popping in real quick again to say thank you babble for sponsoring my video go ahead and click the link in the description go ahead and click the link in the description box or scan that qr code if you would like 60 percent off your subscription with babble get learning another language today make your brain go bigger make your brain bigger smarter and 
brush up on a skill set, make yourself better, okay? It's not too late. We should all learn more than one language. Again, thank you, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. Please don't join a multi-level marketing company. Please don't follow people like this. Don't harass anyone like this. They're long gone. They might be beautiful, but they're long gone. They are beyond our help. You are not going to get to them, I promise. You know who you can get to, though? Your friends and family. So feel free to share my videos, other videos about these types of scams, other reels, other posts, facts, things like that on the interwebs uh, so that they can see them. They can be exposed to these types of things and they can understand, well, that's a cult or that's a pyramid scheme. That's a scam or all of the above in this case. So... Yeah. Hope you have a great rest of your day and night weekend. Whenever you're watching this, the Supreme Court sucks. I really wish we had separation of church and state. So use your voice. Don't be weird. Don't be chronically online. Your butt looks great. Stay spicy. Be assertive. Don't be a d I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.